Hello friends, welcome to Explore YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial video, we will be going to learn about VBA macros, about how to do addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, as well as getting percentage. And you can take a lot of encouragement as well as benefits while watching this video until end. So let's start our video from here. You can see here friends, I have opened a user form which I prepared earlier. And here, if you have to go for shopping or you have to buy something else online and you need to buy two products so one product costs you 100 and then another one costs you 500 and this here what you have to do is you have to make addition to get the total but you have been asking for a discount to the vendor so here for instance if vendor is going to give you five percent and you just click on percentage button over here you get 30 out of 600 a discount and you want to know the net total over here so you will find it here directly and at the end you can do an action that what you have done you have done added this will help you to save your data in spreadsheet once you hit on save button and you can see here friends whatever you have done over here in user form in terms of calculations it has been recorded over here as a transaction so let's go for another transaction we will click on reset button here and you can see now if I mention some figure over here in figure 1 and in figure 2 I just mentioned another figure and this time I would like to do subtraction and here if I just increase the amount of first figure and go for subtraction again and here you would like to know about the 25 percentage amount of discount so you would be able to find out what point what percentage of 25 is out of 12,500 so you get it over here and in net total you find the rest of the total in action you will be able to have a reminder that you have done subtracted and click on ok save and click on save button you will find your data over here in spreadsheet so this lets you know whenever you come back over here in your spreadsheet that what action you has taken earlier on specific time for specific figures then you will be able to know it from here directly and we go to developer tab we click on visual basics and here you can see already I have prepared this user form I just let you know about this user form here I have mentioned some figures as a label from figure 1 until action and here I have used text boxes so in order to know how to make this user form I have mentioned all in the other videos where I have provided all these steps how you can prepare and use a form including these buttons including this all things while color coding as well buttons we click on save and here you can see this property window over here if this can don't if this do not come over here you have to go to view and here you have to click on properties window so right now I do have this I just click on back color and I go to this dark blue and here but coming up down you can see font and click over there on three dots you go to bold and get the size and click ok similarly you have to go to change the color of the font so I just selected white and you have to do it for rest of the two buttons also I do it in a quick succession now friends let's go for the coding but before that you need to know about the button names if I click over here you can see here my button name is quant button one here in the properties and in the caption I have mentioned the button name as addition then I open parenthesis and mention over here plus sign and close the parenthesis similarly I follow the same step for rest of the three buttons you need to click up on the east button to know the button name so this will help you to add the coding so if I click over here double click on addition then I come up over here on this page where the coding is being mentioned already so let me make you understand about this coding this text box one this is text box two two three four five six and seven this is combo box so friends let's understand first addition button this is the coding of the addition button here where this text box one this is text box two and this is text box three I need to get my total over here in text box 3 so what I've mentioned over here in 1 and 2 after clicking addition I get my total here so here you just need to understand text box 3 dot value equal to value parenthesis open text box 1 dot value parenthesis classes and you need plus sign over here make sure you understand this is addition value open thesis 
open parenthesis text box 2 dot value means add value of text box 1 and text box 2 to get answer in text box 3 so text box 5 equal to is value in text box 3 whatever value over here is need to be subtracted this figure of discount minus text box 4 dot value then we get my total over here as a net total so here the coding is same for subtraction 2 but you need to make sure that you use subtraction sign over here similarly you have to use multiplication sign over here for getting multiplication total in text box 3 and 5 once you click on multiplication and percentage button and here you get division answer in text box 3 the coding is same as being mentioned above in other text boxes in other buttons and text boxes and similarly for text box 5 you need to understand here you do not need a division button over here because you need net total so you have to subtract it over here and for getting percentage this is according for percentage this is text box 4 this is text box 6 so you have to understand now text box 6 for percentage you can understand here text box 6 dot value equal to value in text box 3 to be times with text box 4 means this value needs to be times with this text box 4 value and has to be divided with 100 to get percentage amount here discount fig of this discount figure and then only you can get your net total over here in text box 5 so friends i hope you have understand until now how these buttons going to be used once their coding is being put input in its respective button now friends you have to understand whenever you fill your figures over here you need to click on save button and you need your figures to be displayed here depending on the options you have chosen so that's the coding you need to learn about further so let's go for that coding too first you have to click over here outside in the user form once i fill my data in text box one it is using application dot worksheet function dot counter so here i'm using counter function bracket open means open parenthesis sheet 2 the name of this sheet is sheet 2 how you can find the name of the sheet so here right now the sheet name is calculation but here once you go in the vba project you will find your sheet calculation is exactly sheet 2 so that's why i mentioned over here sheet 2 dot range which is b7 it is going to be start from b7 until its last column you can mention any number over here in the range in this range which i mentioned just over here and makes you understand about this one here and you have to close it and plus one means once you fill your data over here and then again you go on your user form and fill your data over here and hit on save button you need your data to be mentioned in the concept in the consecutive vacant row here means second row and then next and then next and so on for the save button coding so i click on save button you can see here i have put the coding the save button na name is command button 9 underscore click open parenthesis and close parenthesis so you can see over here x equal to sheet 2 dot range i make you understand about the sheet 2 name how we got it earlier it's mentioned over here you can see the real name of the sheet is calculation but exactly the sheet is sheet 2 so sheet 2 dot range open parenthesis b column means start from b column rows dot count open parenthesis close dot end excel up means after the heading it should start my data to be filled here in spreadsheet 2 starting from b7 dot row that's why we went we go for dot and excel up function dot row plus one means it should take next row once being filled then next row and so on and here is a coding how the data to be filled from text boxes into its respective columns so here my first column is one until eight but my data to be filled from b to h column so my data to be filled in from second column to eighth column so here the coding is sheet two dot cells open parenthesis x is the row means this b7 to h7 is the row and second is a column from where my data to be filled up initially dot value 
equal to text box one means here the value of text box one to be show here so here you can understand this text box value goes over here in second column text box two value should be go over here text box three to be displayed here in fourth column that's what I am mentioning over here in my coding so once you mention first row coding you need to copy it and put it over here paste it for rest of the columns so you rest of the coding is same you just need to change the column numbers accordingly so you can fill right data in the right column and from right text boxes as well as the combo box once you fill your data over here this data should be get refreshed and for this we have mentioned reset button here now we'll go for reset button coding and close button coding so we close it here go to visual basics and here you can see if i click on reset button this is the coding for reset unload me call underscore form dot show the name of the form is call form dot show similarly to close the form this is the coding for the close button Friends, until here you have understand about the coding of the buttons as well as the text boxes data to be saved in specific spreadsheet so now we need to understand how we get these borders over here automatically once my data is going to be filled here so what you have to do is you have to click on b7 then you have to go to condition formatting here you have to go to manage rules i show you what i have done earlier so here you have to go to use a formula and here you have to lock the column from b7 the dollar sign is in front of b it's not in front of seven so to understand the references of dollar i have prepared another video just go for it where i mention how to use dollar references from mixed absolute as well as mixed and absolute both so here my formula is equal to b7 i have locked the column with dollar sign in front of b needs to be greater than zero if this is greater than zero then what happens then go to format click over here and go to border here you have to click on the mid the medium here you have to click on the middle one the outline and click ok and click ok outside click ok here as well so here I have mentioned first figure this is the next figure and I would like to know the division amount in total so here I get my division total in text box 3 now I would like to know about 2% of 15 I just click over here and I got my 2% out of 15 and here it's been deducted from 15 and here I click on divided the action being taken and click on save so you can see here my data is being di displayed over here as well as the borders too that's for now friends I hope you like this video please like share and subscribe explore youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you thank you for watching this video thank you